Hey guys, Will here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the free media and the browser sections inside of MediaPlace. All right, so let's talk about free media. So free media is an amazing stock library packed with 5 million plus photos and videos that you can use at your disposal. All right, so let's talk about navigating, right? So at the top here, you've got a search bar to search up whatever it is that you're looking for, and you can choose between images, videos, and GIFs, right? So now what I can do is let's test out the images, right? So maybe I'm looking for wildlife. So I'm gonna type in wildlife, and then hit search, and then it's gonna pile up all of the wildlife images that it can. And then what I can do is I can go through, and if I like one, let's hit save. Um, let's go with this one and, and this one right here, right? So then I save those three automatically to my library. So if I come over here to library, you'll see that there are the images I just grabbed from free media, right? Super quick and super powerful to utilize this, right? Because if you're looking for something on the fly, maybe you're trying to build something up, this is a great way to kind of start your library uh, maybe start some ideas going, right? So utilizing free media for pictures is awesome. Now, what about for video, right? Same thing, if I click on the video tab, come over here, let's delete wildlife. Let's get that search out of there. And then let's go ahead and search up maybe um, the ocean, right? So we'll search up the ocean here. So then it will search for all of the video clips associated with the ocean, right? So now I've got these cool ones, I can hover over them and see what they look like. Um, some of them have audio, some of them don't. Um, but then as I play them back, I can then save them. And then if I like some of these, I can just hit save and then save. And if I go to library, you'll see that here are my video clips. And then of course you can get more organized, right? We've talked about this in other videos. You can add folders, right? Add a new folder, call it video, add another folder, call it pics, right? Come over here to all files. And then I can then drag the video clips into video and then drag my images into my pix folder here, right? So a great way to stay organized um, inside of MediaPlace using the free media section. And of course, there are other ways that you can save these too. So if I was to maybe um, drag this, I can drag these into a perspective folder, right? So I'll drag that into the video. And again, it imports in super cool way to import in files, right? So again, I go back to my library and then here are all my videos and here are all the pictures. Super powerful way uh, to start your creativity using the free media section inside of MediaPlace. And that also works with the GIFs as well. So another fun one to check out. All right, so now let's talk about the browser. So I'm gonna navigate down to the browser here. And the browser is a really cool feature because it allows you to, maybe you're gonna create a, a mood board, right? And you're, you're working with a client and you're trying to build some ideas for colors, uh, maybe different logo examples, maybe something another site's doing or another project that you wanna incorporate into your mood board so that you can show them this is the direction you wanna go, right? All right, so let's take a look at the layout of the browser page into itself, right? So up at the top is where you type in your website URL, right? So what website page do you wanna to go to? You also have a bookmarks page that pops up for you um, with some already populated websites as well, but you can add in other ones that maybe you go to frequently that you need to have access to on the fly, right? And again, if you wanna hide this bookmarks page, just click on bookmarks there to bring it back, just select it to bring up your bookmarks, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type in a URL and show you how this works. All right, so once you got a website in there, you'll notice on the right-hand side, you've got all images, video, and SVGs. All right, so what that does is it brings up all of the images, video clips, and SVGs associated with this web page, right? So if I click on images, I'll narrow it down to just images, and then video just shows me all the video clips associated with this web page, and then of course, all the SVGs that are there too. Right, so super cool and powerful feature. So say for example, I am working on this mood board, right? So I can go ahead and come over here, add a new folder, and let's call it mood board, right? And maybe uh, I'm working with a client and I'm, I like some of these images, I like the colors that are here, I like some of the animated hands that are going on. So what I can do is I can select one of these and drag it to my mood board, right? And then it's, go ahead and imports it and then I can find out some more, maybe some more graphic images that I like. You know, it's like, you know what? I like this as text boxes for maybe the website design that I'm gonna do for them. So I'll drag this guy over to my mood board as well. And then, you know what? I like this cutout idea, same thing. So you get the idea, right? So you're able to pull in images and then as well as video clips too, right? So if I come over here to video, um, I can come down and say, I really like the style of this video that they got. Um, and I wanna show my client kind of the similar idea I'd like to utilize and I think it'll work for them. So I can drag that into my mood board as well, import it. So same thing with the SVGs. Um, I can come in here and say like, you know what, for 
this uh, layout that I'm working on for you. I like the way these pointers are looking. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna drag there and just show them um, some of the styles that I'm working on for my mood board. All right, so again, you can see how it works. It's really powerful um, and it's a great way to kind of start building up your ideas. And you can do this from any website um, and it does grab any images and video clips that are associated with that site, right? So super cool. And again, if you wanna bookmark this for later, I click bookmarks, I can save current URL and then there it is right there and added it under my other bookmarks that I have, right? So super powerful features inside of Media Place. Now, if I go to library, you'll see that here's my mood board and then here are the images that I have uh, created here as well as the video clip that I got there too. All right, so really cool stuff inside of Media Place utilizing free media as well as the browser page. Um, stay tuned for more videos and as always, keep creating.